Welcome back guys to the Koi Pond Experience. In my last video, I did a review of this salt meter. I bought this item from Koi Central and after the owner of Koi Central saw the video review of this salt meter, he sent me this box. I'm really excited. This is only my second time to do a review for an item that's given to me for free. Mostly, I buy the items that I review here in the Koi Pond Experience. So to Koi Central and Sir Edwin, thank you very much. Marami salamat sir. <laughs> thank you for this opportunity. I am really excited and I'm happy. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and open the box so I can share to you what's inside. Thank you very much, Koi Central, Sir Edwin, thank you. Nice. Here it is, the Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House. This is my first time to see this item in person and wow. It's really nice. This item looks really premium. There's this smaller one here. This is the version 3 of the Lotus Root with those hard to miss gear grooves. And then this extra large one here is the version 2 of the Lotus Root Bacteria House. And this one has no gear grooves. It's smooth all around. So what exactly is this item? the Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House. This is basically a high-end biological filter media, engineered for efficient bacteria cultivation, surpassing all other commercially available biological filter media presently available in the market. Hmm, quite long, huh? In short, guys, it's one of the best biological filter media out there. Let's focus our demo with this larger version, the XL version. Look at how pretty this thing is. It makes me don't want to use it as a filter media. I just want to display it and show it off to everyone and get a conversation started from there. <laughs> okay, going back. See this nylon mesh that wraps around this lotus root bacteria house? This is actually meant to hold or support it in case there's a breakage in any part of its body. So let's say there's a major crack here in the middle. The mesh support here will hold the lotus in one piece, giving the user a convenient way in handling the lotus root. It also serves as a protection, so friction between two ceramics is avoided during shipping and handling. So when installing this in the filtration system, Remember not to remove this nylon mesh you see here, for it plays an important role in the use of this very unique ceramic media. This one, this tea bag looking item here, is not silica gel, it's not a desiccant. This is actually a small pouch of beneficial bacteria powder. What's present here are nitrifying bacteria that will jumpstart the management of toxic ammonia in the water. Leave it as it is in this manner, uh, don't remove it. Notice the 7 holes you see here. It goes all the way to the other end. This is exactly what the root of the lotus plant looks like. See the similarities? That's where the design came from. Then, see these grill looking vents here? It spirals around the entire cylinder-shaped body of this ceramic. These two, the lotus root holes and the spiral vents, is designed to allow water to equally flow throughout the entire body of the ceramic. So there's equal opportunity of water flow throughout the ceramic and there's no bias. The result is the entire body of the lotus root bacteria house 
becomes a paradise for bacteria to live in. Outside, inside, in the vents, in the holes, any part in the ceramic, water flows through sufficiently without fail. It was designed that way, and the bacteria will take advantage of that. And for us end user, the effect is more efficient biofiltration, resulting to better water quality. So why is all this sufficient water flow so important? Let me show you. Come, follow me. By the way, if you want me to make more videos like this, please comment below. Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. These are the mix of fumistones stones and lava rocks in my second chamber. Fumistones stones and lava rocks, very affordable biological media, and I highly recommend them by the way. Look here, on the fumistones stones that are exposed on the outermost of the net bag. So there is sufficient water flow in this section. The stones that are outside or in the outermost layer of the net bags get sufficient water flow and bacteria cultivation or bacteria growth at that section is really good. Remember, sufficient water flow equates to more beneficial bacteria for better biological filtration resulting to better water quality. But what about one inch below this first batch of stones here on top? Is water flow at that section the same as on top? The simple answer is no. Because water will flow in the path of least resistance. And in this case, the stones on the outermost section acts like a wall, preventing good water flow to penetrate to the section inside this net bag, where other stones also need good water flow for bacteria growth. So on the inside of this whole bag, water flow is lesser. As an effect, bacteria growth is also less compared to the one outside. It is for this reason that Mountain Tree has designed the Lotus Root Bacteria House so it can address this deficiency. The top secret formula needed to create the ceramic in the lotus root releases trace mineral elements in the water such as sodium, magnesium, calcium, and strontium. At the top of my head, sodium is for osmium regulation and then magnesium, calcium, and strontium are for bone and muscle development. <laughs> this important feature is absent from jack mats or other biofoams that we are accustomed to use for biological media. So there's another engineering wonder from Mountain Tree. It's just really good, guys. So how would I set this up if it were me? Well, let me show you. There's still a few more features that the lotus root bacteria has, but the science behind it, it is a little bit beyond my understanding. So I won't be discussing it anymore. But I'll post a link in the video description if you want to check them out. There. This is how I would do it. I got this white plastic crate from a grape seller. When they buy the grapes, they are inside in this crate so the grapes won't get crushed during transport or shipping. The crates are stackable too. The contents of the bottom crate stays protected even if you place another crate on top of it which is perfect for our pond filter purpose. Okay guys, that's a wrap for this video. If you're interested in purchasing the Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House, please get in touch with Koi Central. You can find them in Facebook. I'll post a link of their Facebook page in the video description. They offer good service, one of the best dealers in my experience. Especially the owner, Sir Ed, He's really a nice guy. Thank you again, Koi Central and Sir Edwin. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> if you find value in this video, please yes. give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. Let me know what you think about this video, guys. I'd really love to get your comments. And if you've not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the Koi Pond Experience. I really appreciate it. 
it will keep you updated on new practical fish keeping ideas that I will be uploading in the coming days. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.